just doesn't have to end in a fight, Tony. You just started a war. There would be no way to make a uh, civil war unless we were able to, to meld all the different technologies together. Dolby Atmos adds another layer to the whole experience of it, you know, especially a movie like this where sound is so important. You just have to listen to the movie. I mean, yeah. it's a very thick, dense, textured score and, and sound soundtrack to the film. So yeah. it's like, it's critical. This is the first movie where myself and the mixing engineer, Alan Myerson, were actually mindful of Atmos before we started. Atmos gives you an extra layer, an extra dimension to maneuver things around spatially so you can kind of have your cake and eat it. The cool thing about Atmos is going to immerse the audience in the experience. That's what cinema is all about. If you say you've got a character flying by you, he's flying behind you, and you can still sense that. It's like it's around you in the battle, and that makes it so much more, more fun. Final warning. I could do this all day.